Yeah, guys. So this is my uh, third ever completed road vehicle. Fun built. Done quite a bit of the little body work and such to it. Uh, smoothed out door handles, handles on the uh, sleeper. I removed the Peterbilt emblems from the uh, side here. Also removed the, uh, I don't know, it looked like a chrome piece of molding that went down the center of the hood. Uh, clean the uh, top of the cab off completely. Uh, built the uh, visor scratch. I also uh, rounded off the fenders here and dropped them down quite a bit. Uh, what else? Mounted the exhaust to turn out down here because I didn't want it to screw up the uh, mural. Not to mention it's a it's a nice truck as is I think. He doesn't need to compensate with giant pipes. He's a pretty competent driver, this guy. So, anyway, um, this is also the second vehicle that I've polished up with the Novus. Uh, I don't have step three. I've got two and one, which one, I don't know. I can't see that it makes a giant difference. I just used a little of that there, and I think I got better results. And I'm sure for a lot less money. Uh, made some mirrors for the side. I tried using the Alclad. I can't say I'm happy with the uh, results, but for a first time out with it, I'll take what I can get. Uh, I did a black and tan interior. What else? What else? I'm going to have to get me a little battery-operated battery Jobby Wobby. And there's the mural there at the back. I tell you, d dust seems to collect on this thing. No, oh, well, black. What are you going to do? So anyhow, I'm pretty pleased with it. Considering all the first that I tried out on this, um, yeah, I'm pleased. I'll be building another one for sure. I wanted to build the uh, fenders. I'm sure they've got some truck show fancy name for them. The, the one-piece fenders and I understand how to make the curvature here as far as the, the radius of the tire. Um, forgive me, I don't remember who it was I was talking to, but they had built some. Uh, it's where the top meets the uh, curve, like here at the front. I didn't have any trouble making that curve because it was already on the existing fender. I just added the styrene below it. Here, I would end up with a 90 degree joint, which, in my opinion, would look fairly crappy. Um, so I'll have to experiment with how to do that, because I'm certainly not going to go to uh, modelsemitrucks.com and spend a bunch of money on something I can build myself and have fun doing it to boot. Besides, if I bought them, I'd probably just make a mold and start making them myself and sell them for half the price and get myself in all kinds of trouble doing that. So, anyway. There it is. I like it. I hope you like it. Any tips, comments? Maybe leave them below. I hope your weekend was awesome. If not, I don't know what to tell you. There ain't no do-overs. Take what you got.
Snow Troopers are coming along. Trying to do uh, some blending there on his uh, trousers. Trying to anyway. And here's another one with a fairly interesting pose, him and his rifle. And Mick, old git, I will definitely get with you about uh, any specific colors that I use. Right now I'm just kind of going with uh, what's on the box. So I'm certainly not going to be able to teach you anything about mixing paints and, and such. But if you have a question about a color that was used, anybody, hit me up. I'll tell you how I got it. Um, next up will probably be, oh, it'll either be a completed howitzer or a completed 109. How's that? Maybe both, just for the shiznits and grins. All right, gents, be cool. Don't be no fool. Have an awesome time in the hangouts if that's your thing. Um, war never changes. Uh, I do stop in on them once in a while, so I'm sure sooner or later we'll bump into each other, brother. Let me just, um, yeah, get that many voices all going at one time and it turns into uh, almost tough to make sense of it. But anyway. I'm sure I will be stopping by again. Take care of yourselves. See you, brothers.